Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about Qinghai Tibet Railway. The Qinghai Tibet Railway is a 1,956 km long railway network located between Galmud and Lhasa in China. It is also known as the Heavenly Road as it is the longest and highest highland rail route in the world. The construction of the railway line began on June 29, 2001, and it became operational on July 2, 2006. The main challenge faced during the construction of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Network was the widespread permafrost and fragile environmental conditions. A great number of innovative and technological advancements were observed during this project because of which it was awarded the most prestigious award of China the National Science and Technology Progress Award in 2008. Approximately 960 kilometers of the high elevation railway network is located 4,000 meter above mean sea level, and its highest point is on the Tangula Mountains at a height of 5,072 m above mean sea level. A total length of 632 km is located in the permafrost terrain region, out of which 275 km is categorized under the warm permafrost region, mean yearly ground temperature somewhere in the range of 0 and minus 1 degree Celsius and 221 km is categorized under the ice-rich permafrost region, ice content 20% by volume. Also, there is a section of 134 km that is categorized under both warm and ice-rich permafrost regions. At the commencement of the Qinghai Tibet Railway project, Chinese researchers and scientists were faced with two adverse variables, the warm condition of the permafrost plateau region and an increase in global temperatures. After constructing the Qinghai Tibet Highway, the road surface developed 60% talic pockets due to increased thawing, which occurred in the warm permafrost region. Roughly 85% of the damages to roadway banks were brought about by the settlement due to thawing in the ice-rich permafrost region. These methods include adjusting and controlling the amount of solar radiation, heat convection, and heat conduction, as well as combinations of the above-mentioned measurements by using different embankment configurations and fill materials. Researchers had developed various measures to reduce the thawing effect and cool down the roadbed of the Qinghai Tibet Railway. Solution for Solar Radiation Qinghai Tibet Plateau is subjected to severe solar radiation due to the combination of high altitudes and low latitudes. Therefore, it becomes important to reduce the ground temperature for the effective working of the railway track. By shading the surface from sunlight, the ground temperature can be brought down adequately. Scientists had researched the impact of awnings and estimated the ground surface temperature at 2 p.m. throughout the span of one year in the Feng Guashan area. 
it was observed that the ground surface temperature was 8 degrees C 15 degrees C lower inside the shades than outside. Also, by shading the surface, the maximum temperature difference was 25 degrees Celsius. In any case, awnings were not suitable in the plateau region because of the strong winds. Thus, on the embankment side slopes at Bailohi, the shading boards were installed to study the effect of temperature differences. Results indicated that a temperature difference of 3.2 degrees Celsius was observed between the inside and outside of the shading board. Also, a temperature difference of 1.5 degree quas observed between the inside of the shading board and the natural ground surface. The embankment of the railway track may also lose its strength after going through repeated freezing and thawing cycles. A shading board can decrease the impact of freezing and thawing cycles. It can likewise shield the embankment from erosion caused by winds and rains. Solution for Convection Patterns to reduce and control the effect of convection patterns within embankments, ventilation ducts, crushed rocks, and thermal tubes were installed on the Qinghai Tibet Railway Network. Ventilation Ducts Researchers conducted field experiments at Bailuhi on ventilation ducts. The materials used for the construction of the ventilation ducts were PVC and concrete. The diameter of the ducts was 35 cm and the spacing between the two ducts was two times the duct diameter. The ventilation ducts were constructed at a depth of 0.50.7 meter from the ground level into the embankment. Ventilation ducts constructed beneath or close to the ground surface have a more noticeable cooling impact than those constructed at higher depths into the embankment. After three years of construction of the ventilation ducts, the permafrost table significantly moved up to the same level as the ground surface. Crushed Rocks Crushed rocks used on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau acted as thermal semiconductor to reduce the effect of permafrost. Generally, the air during the winters is colder than permafrost. This induces ARB convection, Rayleigh Bennard convection, it occurs when a lower layer is heated from below and the upper layer develops the pattern of convection cell, inside the crushed rocks. Thus, in winters, the temperature increases because the permafrost discharges heat into the surrounding air. However, in the summer, the effect of crushed rocks on permafrost is reversed because the air is hotter than permafrost. No convective heat transfer takes place as the cold air sinks to the bottom due to a higher density than hot air. Therefore, heat transfer occurs only in the form of conduction dot due to the little contact area between the crushed rocks and the air, the crushed rocks act as an insulator rather than a semiconductor dot this effect reduces the heat gain in the permafrost layer from the surrounding air. The difference between reduced heat gains in summer and increased heat releases in winter creates a net heat release throughout the year and, in this way, 
brings down the temperature of the underlying ground surface. Also, on the sloping surfaces, the chimney effect develops when the crushed rocks are placed at a higher slope, and it reduces the temperature of the underlying ground surface. Several different forms and configurations were used during the construction of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Network using the crushed rocks and embankments. These forms and configurations were crushed rock revetments embankments, crushed rock based embankments, U shaped crushed rock embankments and crushed rock embankments. Thermal tubes Thermal tubes were installed in more than 35 km of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Embankment. Different lengths, 8, 10, and 12 m, of the thermal tubes were used based on the height of the embankment. The tubes were installed either vertically or at an angle into the side slopes of the embankment. Also, the tubes are installed in such a way that the lower end of the tube reaches at least 2-3 meter below the permafrost table. As per the results, the radius of influence and the spacing between the thermal tubes were suggested to be about 1.8 mA and D3 m, respectively. The numerical model demonstrated that the cooling impact both in the embankment and at the foot of the side slope was the best when the inclination angle with respect to the side slope was between 25 degree and 30 degrees. FAQY is the Qinghai Tibet Railway Project famous? The Qinghai Tibet Railway project is famous because it was constructed in widespread permafrost and fragile environmental conditions. A great number of innovative and technological advancements were witnessed during this project because of which it was awarded the most prestigious award of China, the National Science and Technology Progress Award in 2008. What is the length of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Track? The length of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Track is 1,956 km. What is the construction cost of the Qinghai Tibet Railway Project? The project was completed with a total investment of 34 billion yen. Which is the highest railway track in the world? Qinghai Tibet Railway is the highest railway track in the world. The highest point of the railway network is on the Tangula Mountains at 5,072 m above mean sea level. When was the construction of the Qinghai Tibet Railway project started? The construction of the Qinghai Tibet Railway project started on June 29, 2001. What is the operating speed of the railway on the Qinghai Tibet Railway track? The operating speed on the Qinghai Tibet Railway track is 160 km h. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.